Welcome to Road Ventures Hawaii, I'm Nick Morris. This is what we do. Like and subscribe, boys. What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today we're fishing with tea bags again. Tyler, follow his Instagram for a great time, great entertainment purposes, like by far like the best. Uh, fish out Haleiwa, you can tell. The rainbow bridge in the background. Back right about there. It's fish on Leewa. I'm gonna chase the dream today. We're gonna try live bait again, go look for rubbish, but Tyler's like, you know what? The eye bit yesterday, let's go chase the dream. Remember our most beats, we're gonna chase the dream. I'm gonna help Tyler launch the boat. I'm gonna go park the trailer all the way over there. And we'll be out. See you guys shortly. Alright, here we go. Time to get picked up by Tyler. Dude, check out this hat. I forgot my camera in the boat, so we're filming with the iPhone. But check out this hat. Oh my god, this hat is. This hat, oh, there's a ton of nehu in there. Ton of nehu. Look at that hat. That hat right there. That hat right there says it all. That's the. the oh! Let's go! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that hat though. Oh my god, that hat. Alright. Time to prepare this because it's gonna be a wet day. It's not gonna be like this. I guarantee it's not gonna be like this. Kind of a late start. We're going now, we're gonna run up towards uh, the east side of the island. That's where the bite was yesterday. So we're right from the north to the east, just tiling up the board in the water. So, beautiful coastline view, but we got a at least a 25-30 mile run. The tires in the back deck right now, getting everything uh, set up, ready, ready to go. With this hat, how's that hat? Unbelievable. I don't know what the hell he's thinking. <laughs> so. It'll run up, and then uh, once we get a little more out, start saying lines, we'll be back. Got a special treat for you guys today. Special treat. So wish us a luck, but give us a thumbs up for good luck. And then when we set lines, I'll be back, and I'll show you our special treat. Hi, right, everybody. You know my boat, set lines, task and a half on this one. Put the lines, I'll take Uku, down sea, good times. Oh, you want me to put a real rubber band, or you're gonna, you're gonna test, you're gonna check it first? Okay, I'll stop right there then. We can't forget today. Our spam was to be, we forgot the other week. But well, we got a deluxe version today. We'll see how good what a deluxe does. You gotta feed the sea god, you gotta give something to get something. So, deluxe spam was to be, we got spam, egg, Furukaki, rice, some seaweed. Yes, sir. Here's that slow motion just for you guys. The Musubi Mafia. There it is. So we got our lines out. It's why 11 10 now. Tide is still coming up. We're in the area where a couple guys got yesterday. Trying to see if we can get lucky today. All about the lucky hat. Screw the Musubi. He said the, it's not the deluxe Musubi. It's the, the it's the lucky fedora. That's where it's at, buddy. Dude, that's something that you'd wear on grinder.com. Well, something you're gonna wear on fishing.com. Oh my god. That hat 
If you're on Grinder, the app, look for his picture. He'll be wearing that hat on the app. Got you on my boat, didn't I? <laughs> All right, so we'll see you when we hook up. Hopefully. Give us a thumbs up for good luck if you haven't done it yet. So we need a thumbs up. We need the good luck. We need to get some fish today. Every time you give a thumbs up, it saves a dolphin. So give a thumbs up. Talk about the knife when you take your strike. Ah. It's actually weird when he hit though, right? You saw him? Talk about the ninth inning, huh? Ninth inning. 5.40 p.m. Last pass, ready to give up. This is the last pass, the tires are... Let's see, came out of the boat, made a big splash. Slam the outrigger and run up. Yep, stand out right we're on. Never give up. See that? 540, never give up. Now, now it doesn't work. Now I get him in the boat. Huh? Yeah. Somebody asked me, why do you use a glove and why do you pull your crank? Just to give you more leverage. No, I'm talking to the camera. Yeah, it just gives you more leverage when you're fighting a fish to pull in. So just crank, if you crank, it's too hard. But if you pull, it's a lot easier. So you call this the Hawaiian pump right there. It's all kind of dark on there. What is that? What is that? Yeah, you see a splash in there. I saw a splash, but I couldn't see what the color in there. It's not done even when they get bit. Oh, that's why, huh? Yeah. That's what it is that is shaking on top of that. It won't break down, they bite and it's trying to pull. I pull them back then. pull them back and they're like, oh. Slow and steady wins the race. A little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Your gut against the reel, lock in. <laughs> just like that. You wedge it in, you're good to go. You ain't going nowhere. Huh? Not pretty easy. I don't know if you're deep in his throat, maybe. Oh, a smaller size fish. It's not even thin. Getting close, this rubber band wasn't a marker. It wasn't a marker? The rubber band was far out. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was going to say, that's a cool thumbnail shot right there, like that. Yeah. I don't see color yet. No, there's still a lot of line out there. You see him? How far is he? Oh, he's down there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the water's clean. Well, oh, the one out is cool. It's like it. when it's not like this, it was good overhead too, though. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Switch. Yeah. Switch. I'm gonna get the side of a little bit. Huh? Y'all got the knife? Yeah, I should have it. Yep. 
Yeah, so it's all about right there. The view in the water. <laughs> no blood coming out. For real? Wow, like I, said, I think you got gill hook or something because no blood's coming. So yeah, you got blood out of my Nice one. Nice one. Oh, nice one. Okay, one. Watch the gas. That's all right. That's all right. Woo! It's a long day. It's a long day. We got that guy in the boat in 10 minutes. Yeah. 548. We got eight, the... eight hours of trolling for 10 minutes of fishing. Yeah. Catch it. Hell, you see Awesome, awesome, awesome. He must have got hooked bad air. He could let out, yeah. I may have scratched the side of your boat, I think, when I gaffed them. Oh, there's a blood, not a blood coming out. The motto for today, as always, never give up. Never give up. Time to get this guy bled and put on ice. Nice. Somebody told me tuna or ahi testicles are extremely good at sashimi or like a pokey. You know what pokey is? Everybody knows what pokey is. So this is a nail tuna. This is his testicles. We're going to do a catch and cook with this guy when we get home. I want to see if it's true or not. I feel like with any fish, especially like a tuna, such a prized fish, nothing should go to waste. Oh my god. That's leaking the white stuff. I don't know about that. But I feel with tuna or any kind of like any kind of fish really, but especially with tuna, it's such a pious fish. I don't think you should go to waste. Is there something you should is there something you can eat? Oh, there's a hole in this bag. Damn it. There's something you should eat, you should eat it. Don't let it go to waste. So we have the tuna testicles. We're gonna save that for later. I want to see how good it is. People say it's good. Well, one person said it was good. I'm not going to say people. One person said it was good. So we'll do a catch and cook with that when we get home. More like a catch and filet. Uh, but 12.05. Oh my God. 6.05 now. 6.05. We still have some time. We're about 28 miles from the harbor. So I told Tyler, you know what? Let's make a couple more passes. He's like, you want to go over? I said, no. We already paid for our expenses today. Let's make a couple more passes. Try to put some money in the pocket. So go around and see if we can get him a paycheck today. Covered expenses, but let's get a paycheck today now for him. All right, so we'll either see you next fight another fish or we'll see you back at the dock. So we got the ice chilling, cooling down. Let him cool down a little bit before we put him in the ice. But it's. What time is it? 626 right now. It's our last hurrah. We literally got that guy in the ninth inning. Really like the bottom of the ninth, we got that guy. Because that was literally our last one down. We did our five minutes to the pool line. So it's a Hail Mary pass. We're so far from the harbor, like 20 miles out, that we're like, oh, we're gonna get it after dark. So we gotta try to do it now. So locked out, never give up. Persistence pays off. Never ever ever give up. Musubi Mafia style. <laughs> Musubi, There's light, you can get there. Musubi Mafia style. Musubi Deluxe for the boys. That was the one for the crew right here for you guys. So, we're we'll going to keep going a little bit longer. From here we're clear lines. I'll be in the harbor. And stay tuned for a very unique, unusual catch and cook at the end of this. I saw somebody I know do it. It said it tasted good. So, tuna testicles. I have no idea how it's going to taste, honestly. But you know what? My thing is, I don't want anything to go to waste. I want to try anything at least twice in my life. Doesn't matter how good or how bad it is. Yeah, I try it. So we'll give it a try. Just for you guys, we'll give it a try. He doesn't think it's gonna taste good. I said, I think it's gonna taste good. He's like, I don't think so. So I'm gonna try raw, I'm gonna try pokey. And I'll give you guys my honest opinion, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If it's bad, I'll be like, nope, this is bad. But we'll see. See you guys. I guess in the harbor in the kitchen. I don't know where we're going next. Or another fish, who knows? What is up, my bitch crew? We're back at home. It's time for the, I don't know, some of you guys might say, unbelievably appetizing, exquisite tuna balls. 
or some of you guys might say the most disgusting thing in the world. And it's been in my fridge for about three days now. And it smells gotten a little more horrific. Maybe horrific isn't the right term. Maybe a little more. Uh, maybe a little more high end, I guess, for some of the rich people there. A little more high end. And it's me, Damien Moore. So I guess let's get to it. I mean, uh, I want. I know fried. Fried would be good. No matter what's gonna be good fried. So the smell has gotten a little different for sure. Uh, as you can see here, it's pretty exceptional. It's been oozing some, some sperm to say the least, which isn't, which isn't turning me on too much, honestly. But I gotta try it. I mean, can I go to waste? You gotta try it. So I know fried it probably tastes good. Everything tastes good fried, no matter what it is. Okay, I've been all over the world with the military. Tried all kind of weird crap all over fried. Everything fried tastes good. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to try a first piece with nothing on it. I made a little wasabi for the second piece. So. Let's see how it goes, okay? You guys be the judge, and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Let's cut it up, cut thin sashimi, and let's see. I know there's a big tenant that runs through it, so I, I don't know. I have no idea how it's going to play out. There's like this long tenant that runs through it. That makes it extremely hard to, it's weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that is just appetizing right there, my friend. See that tenant right there. I'm not feeling that tenant part. I don't think you're supposed to eat that tenant part. So let's cut that out. Now we'll eat this. Yeah, I'm, that tenant is hard and I don't want to eat that tenant part. Oh, it's so slimy. Excellent. I love that. So here it is. Uh. leaking white stuff. I don't know what that white stuff is, but there's some white stuff coming out of it. I got snow. That was a bad idea. I got oh my god, it's leaking white stuff. Oh god. So I guess first off, first impression before even tasting it is there's a there's a smell to it. Damien, yeah. what does this smell like? Let's get his opinion. What does this smell like? Ew. In the camera, they gotta see your face. Come in the camera. I'm gonna say it smells good. Just back up. No, don't say it smells good. Be honest. What does it smell like? Mm, so what does it smell like? It smells like shoyu, kind of, but it smells bad over here. It smells like shoyu, there's no shoyu on it. I think I only smell the shoyu. Oh, there's definitely a smell to it. It kind of has like a slight chemically smell to it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if chemical smell would be the right, the right word for it. There's a smell to it, kind of like a like an irony smell, like a liver or something. <laughs> you know what? From my days in the military, survival school, eating all the nasty stuff in the mountains all over the world, all over the world eating nasty stuff. This is for all you military boys out there watching. How good is it? It's not good at all. It's not good at all. I told you! Not good at all. Whoever said it tastes good, it's not good at all. Oh, it's a second bite. Oh my god, look at it. Look how slimy it is. Yeah. Ew. One words I got. Maybe if it wasn't three days older in the fridge, maybe if it fresh, it'd be better. But there's a, a sliminess to it. A very, very creamy texture. And the worst part is that creamy texture, you know what that is. That's just straight ahi sperm. That's just straight ahi sperm. And it definitely sticks to your mouth. There's like a... Definitely sticks to your mouth. So, we're going to eat one piece. I'll probably try it again when it's fresher, but it's a few days old. I wonder if that's something to do with it. It seems like it's maybe breaking down a little bit. I don't know. But... Just look at look at the knife, all the, the creamy butt on the knife. So one piece is all you guys get, I'm sorry. I know we try everything twice, but that that slimy creaminess, I just can't get over it. No. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for fishing us. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up. 
Till next time, tight line, stay fishing, and we'll see you on the water. Hello, everyone. Woo!